All right, it's the 25th of December. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Depending on whether you're watching this on Christmas Day, which you're probably not, depending on when this video even comes out. So, yeah, currently it is 18 minutes past three in the afternoon. This is the latest I've ever waited to open my presents. And uh, the reason is, is because uh, this year I'm actually at home this year, so I, I didn't open my presents at midnight, which is what I've done for the past few years. Because uh, there's family here and that. Uh, so I actually just slept in, basically. I think I slept in till half past 11 ish or something like that. So, yeah, but I've uh, waited until now to actually open the presents. I'm starting with the stocking, and it's a brand new stocking I got this year. It's a big one. But uh, yeah, that's because b before I, was, I had a Santa sack. But it was starting to basically fall apart. So this year, me and my brother and sister all got stockings. Now, I think I know what most of the stuff is in the stocking because I was the one who went and got it this year. Uh, basically, because my mum was too busy to, and also because I know what I like. So generally, I do choose basically most of my own presents and that and stocking stuff. Anyway, first thing. Oh, I don't know what this is. What the fuck is this? This is one of these novelty gifts that my mum gets, and I don't know why, because I could not give a shit. I'm hoping she didn't pay twelve fifty for it. What the fuck is this colour changing UFO? You see, this is why I don't like my mum getting surprises for me, because she gets me shit like this. Uh, what? Yeah, this is just going to go straight in the bin. This. She probably bought it in a sale or something, and that is going straight in the bin or to somewhere else. Because, like, yeah, could not give le like my mom and my family never know where to get me or each other even. All right, this is something I did actually pick up myself. Now this I had to have a, a bit of a hunt for because initially uh, I went to my local HMB in Newcastle. And uh, they had none in, even though they said they had one in on their system, they didn't actually have any in the store. Thankfully, the one in Geek said Metro Centre, they had one left in. And uh, yeah, this is a record cleaning kit, which was 9 not uh, £20. And the way to get around that, for anyone wondering, is buy a vinyl sleeve for 75p along with this, and then you get this for a tenner. But yeah, um, I mainly got it for uh, the two brushes there. That's basically the only reason I got it. Uh, and also the microfiber cloth. Don't really need the cleaners and stuff like that. <coughs> uh, vinyl cleaning solution. Just just use water. It's fine, believe me. Because that's what I've been using uh, for years. And it's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah. Ah. Put some tape over it so it won't leak. I'm hoping it hasn't leaked. But yeah, my mum smartly put some tape over it. Uh, the shampoo that I like. So yeah, good, good, good. I like I like that L'Oreal one. So all right, I'm hoping she didn't cut the anything she put cell tape on. I hope she didn't cut it with her teeth, because I don't like that. I don't want her saliva over everything. Again, I chose. I got these. These are eleven. Weird amount, 11 packets of mini Harry Bowls. They're not doing the t tubs this year for some reason. They didn't do the tubs. I did see boxes, but yeah. Again, jelly tops. Uh, pretty much most of Pretty much all, I imagine, the sweets and chocolates and that I chose in here because, yeah. Ah. I remember I got these because I needed more toothbrush heads. So, hooray. Cheapest place to get them is Savers, I found down again uh, my mum said why do you want some through ease just like well I want some through ease ah so this is something she got me and I don't like it I don't like the cool effect because I always I've got very sensitive skin and yeah I don't like that this is why you don't get me scuff I don't without asking me because I will not like it guaranteed and she knows this and my dad keeps saying to us stop getting stuff 
without asking at least asking me first i remember she got she tried to give me some money she said oh the other day to me about a week ago I said oh i've got you some underwear she got got us some completely the kind i don't like so yeah she ended up having to take it back immediately and i said to her did they not have the kind i like she went no i just got those and i went well if they don't have the kind i like don't bother i've always said that if they don't have something i like don't bother don't then get something i don't know what's in this box though i can see it's got some bloody stains on it right. And you might be saying, oh, aren't you ungrateful and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I absolutely am because I just am. But also, I don't like getting shit. Like, that's just wasting her money and my, oh, the duo drink. I'll probably give that to my dad or someone. Oh, my God. Again. She's got me. Hang on. Yeah. I've got one, two... I've got three of these now. She keeps getting me this over and over again. I mean, it is a nice thing and it does have its uses, but I've got three of these now. I've got three of these now. She got me one for Christmas last year. I think the red one, I think she got me for my birthday last year. And uh, now this one, and they're all exactly the same. They're all exactly the same. The only difference is this one is red, but it is actually the same. It uses the same moulds and everything. So... Yeah, uh, same thing three years in a row. I should have got a bin bag ready, although I think I'll just use one of those bags. Let's have a look. Terry's chocolate orange. These are, ooh, that one's a bit bad. These are actually being a bit harder to get towards Christmas. Um, I can't remember why I chose this one or ask her to get them, but yeah, more Harry Bowls. Those ones are just tangy fantastics. I prefer the mini ones, actually. I do prefer. Again, these uh, I remember cho choosing because uh, she took me out and I went out a couple of times to basically just grab things. I've got two things in my hands here fruit gums. These have been bloody difficult to find. I had to get these from Sweets Galore. Thankfully, they were only a pound. And Maltesers. I think there should be another box in there. She remembered to put both in. What's this? Oh, this has gotten a bit bat battered up. Um, yeah, I remember getting this. This is the... Oh, are they... These are just Harry Bull minis. I thought they were the slightly bigger bags, but yeah, you get... There we go. It's just Harry Bull... Oh, oh no, they're not quite Harry Bull minis, but they're in the sink. Yeah, there you go. I guess they're snack-sized ones or something like that. I think after this, I'm going to have to put all the stocking stuff back in the stocking. Uh, simply because I, I'm running out of room already here. Fanta flavoured Mentos. I do quite like these. Because I chose them. Uh, more throw ease again. Got them. Starburst. I haven't had Starburst in a long time. This is why I chose them. Oh, box. What's this? Oh yes, uh, the M and M box. I remember when we went to get these. Um, when we got these from Panglang, my mum was going to get the M and M sort of chocolate Santa thing, and they were two pound, and all they were was basically one of those cheap chocolate Santas with less than a handful of what sounded like M&Ms on the inside and yeah they weren't worth it these these were the same price and you got two packets of no three packets of M&Ms a Mars bar and a Twix so yeah they they were much better ah yes Biscoff my mum said why do you want Biscoff because <laughs> I do I like Biscoff biscuits uh or the latest ones but uh yeah I've uh, been a while since I've been what's this Oh, it's uh, more gloves. Uh, um, she did give me an early Christmas present, which was some touchscreen gloves. I'm assuming these are touchscreen gloves. Yes, they are. These are touchscreen gloves. <coughs> so, yeah, it's another pair of touchscreen gloves there. 
But uh, yeah, she did already give me a pair, I should have mentioned that, um, of touchscreen gloves early. And the reason was is because, apart from this week, the week leading up to Christmas, it has been absolutely freezing. So yeah, I needed some gloves, so she said I'll just have them early. More mini Harry Bows. Can you tell I like me Harry Bows? I like me Harry Bows. Ah, me salted nuts and their KP ones. Always like a good quality salted nut. And that is now going to be taken right out of context by exactly I know who. Yep, you're writing in the comments right there now. Mm hmm. Kit Kat Chunkies. Love Kit Kat Chunkies. Ce celebrations now I said to her get me two of these boxes I don't know if she has or not probably not because uh, I asked her not to get me a tub and get me two of the boxes because they get mowing that way and they end up cheaper anyway sharpies now I remember getting these these are three pound actually for pack of th four of them from Poundland but uh, yeah initially I wanted the chunky permanent markers now my mum does not read what uh, there is, what when she's buying scuff. She doesn't look at scuff properly. For example, years in a row, she kept getting me highlighters because she thought she, they were permanent markers, even though they clearly said highlighters and clearly they were highlighters. They were all neon colours and that. And when she was looking in Poundland, I was there with her. She picked up a pack of highlighters and said, "Oh yeah, here they." Are. Uh, permanent markers and I went no they're highlighters and she went how do you know I said it says highlighters and she went oh aren't they the same thing no no they're not but yeah she doesn't bother reading th things I kick that now these I remember picking these these are uh, a small pair of scissors and these I will use for trimming my beard so that is what those will be there they will be my beard trimming scissors because I don't I don't I don't like using a razor or a shaver and that to do that I just don't I prefer the scissors these are the pick and mix ones again have to get them from sweet glow because they seem difficult to find and there ah. batteries rechargeable batteries Basically, I am going to put these in my TV remote when the batteries in it uh, die. But for now, I'm going to take them out and put them in my battery charger. Maybe. They don't seem to want to stay in properly. I'll have to have a... Look at that in a minute. This is the Geo drink. I like links. Yeah, I always say so. Just get me links Geo drinks because I like links Africa Geo drinks. I think we're nearly at the bottom of this. There's the other box of Maltesers. Also, for those who are wondering, um, so I discovered that the Shrek 2 4K Blu-ray does not have uh, the English uh, version on there, so no Jonathan Ross as the ugly sister. So what I'm going to be doing, hopefully, is I'm going to re-rip um, the regular Blu-ray that does have it on there, and then I will be putting the English track on with uh, the 4K, and hopefully they'll match up all right. I'm hoping. That's that's my hope. Uh, but yeah, I didn't even ch I haven't checked the Blu-ray in that one. The Blu-ray may be the US version. I don't know the regular Blu-ray. Um, I've got the UK regular Blu-ray, thankfully. So you know, I'll have to just dig that one out. Dime. I remember getting these uh, from B and M. Initially, I picked up the one that is three bars uh, for a pound, but then I saw these where it's loads of the mini ones, and I think they were two pound. So I picked up them instead. I do like dimes. Again, don't have them very often. Don't have sweets very often, to be honest. 
Okay, she got me this from Hotel Chocolate. It is Raspberry Riot. Okay. That will probably take me forever and a day to eat because Hotel Chocolate's chocolate does tend to be really rich. And this is a heavy thing. What the hell? It... What the bloody hell? I've never heard of this. Sauce Shop Spiced Cranberry Ketchup. What the fuck? This just has me going, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Okay, um, I haven't had my Christmas dinner yet, uh, uh, which I'll be having later, but I may have it with that, I don't know, depends, depends if it's more cranberry than, or ketchup, depends on what it is, I've got cranberry sauce and all the other sauce anyway, and the last thing in here, fruit pastels, I guess let me check, yep, that is everything in there, so yeah, basically all this will be the more boring part, part where I just go through basically all of my sweets and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll just put all my sweets in there and that's kind of handy to have them. So yeah, um, happy with pretty much more, most of my stocking stuff apart from uh, some of the surprises. Like uh, crap I didn't ask for. So yeah, because... I always say to my mum, just when and I'll just get me, you know, sweets and stuff like that, you know, because generally I'll be happy with them. Generally. Apart from salted caramel, I'm one of those people who does not like salted caramel. I don't like salt being sweet. Right. On to the actual presents now. I'll have to be careful with these because uh, they may still, depending on what they are, they may still... Okay. I was wondering about this, so yeah, my mum has used some of these boxes she's gotten uh, from Poundland, and no doubt she will probably want these boxes back afterwards to reuse next year or on various other occasions. She she used to reuse everything. She used to say, be careful with the wrapping paper so she could reuse it. Oh God, why she stuffed it in there? Why stuff it in the box? It's, uh, this is my Puss and Boots. This is... One that I think has been recently discontinued, but this is the what is this company again called? It's this one. But yeah, uh, this. Uh, my sister, I remember, got this one when she got this. She got it from a shop. I wish I hadn't stuffed it in the box, like. But uh, this one, she, uh, my sister, I remember, got this from a shop in Blackpool, and uh, unfortunately, um, basically, I didn't know about this until. Uh, we'd left Blackpool this year, so when we went back to Blackpool for my birthday, I, I tried to go to the same shop. Unfortunately, the same shop no longer existed. So, yeah. Uh, thankfully, uh, this one, this one's from eBay. Uh, for 50, it was fifteen ninety nine, And when my mum bought this, the price then went up on it to 30... Uh, no, not 30 pounds. I think she said it went up to 40 pound. And on, I know, Amazon, it went up to 30 pound. So yeah, now generally when prices like that go up, like that, generally it'll most likely mean, yeah, this product is going to be, or already has been discontinued. Why am I putting my knife in there? Yeah, I wish I hadn't stuffed it in there. Yeah, it gets one of these Pangland boxes. various boxes for gifts, there we go. But I did insist on putting us putting stuff in boxes rather than just bare wrapping paper. And the reason is is just because uh, so it doesn't get damaged. Though I didn't mean stuff it in there. Don't stuff Don't stuff things in there. Right, where I put my knife? There's my knife. Good job I looked at these beforehand. Ooh. Cause uh, these have my addresses galore. 
We'll start with this one. This one I nearly did its own unboxing for, but I thought, mm, I won't bother. This is Puss and Boots, the 4K Blu-ray. Now this is not coming to the UK at all, so I will actually give an unboxing of this, but the reason I'm not bothering giving it its own, because well, it's just a standard release. So yeah, I got this through Amazon US, and thankfully it arrived pretty much intact. Though they only ever send these in these uh, bubble wrap type bags. But yeah, this was a uh, £24. I actually got it through UK Amazon actually, but yeah, 24 quid. Oh wait, not bad. Come on. But uh, yeah, Puss and Books uh, is one of those films I've owned on pretty much every format it was released on. I have the DVD, I have the Blu-ray, I have the 3D Blu-ray, and now I have the 4K Blu-ray. Now, is this going to be just going to upscale? Probably, I don't know. Um, there is a code. There is a code, and... So, one... There you go. There's the code. So, anyone who wants that code, feel free to use that code. Oh, look, there's the Shrek. Okay, so... It just reuses the Puss and Books Blu-ray disc, but uh, there's the 4K disc. Annoyingly, we have to wait until February to see uh, Puss and Books The Last Wish here in the UK. Which again, I will probably be able to get a pirate, a decent pirate copy of the film before it comes out in cinemas. I will still see it in cinemas, but still. But uh, that will also be getting a 4K Blu-ray, which might be true 4K, but yeah, uh, the annoying thing about DreamWorks is, like, apart from that Shrek 2 Steelbook, they've basically completely dropped out of uh, the UK 4K and even Blu-ray market, so yeah. Also, I'm glad that this uses the one of the original uh, poster art for this, which is what the original releases had, rather than the basic one that they've got on the current Blu-ray available in the US. And the DVD here in the UK. Because, uh, yeah, for some reason, uh, also the Shrek 2, I did get a comment saying, oh, the Shrek 2 Steelbook artwork isn't great. And, yeah, it's not my favourite, but I'd still take it over the standard 4K release, which just uses that picture of Fiona and, Sh and Shrek with the purple background. So, yeah. The next thing. In fact, uh, I'll show these both at the same time. Now these were expensive CDs. They were basically 25 quid each. Hard Fi. Uh, Once Upon a Time in December. Limited edition live CD. This one's signed. This one isn't. However, you may think, oh, these are exactly the same. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. They've got... They've got the exact same packaging, and uh, if I show the discs, I've already ripped these discs as well when I got them. <laughs> but let, yeah, the discs are exactly the same. You might think, oh well, is this just the same live concert? Uh, yes and no. This one is Glasgow, and this one is London, I believe, off the top of my head. So yeah, while it was the same tour, these are two different live performances of the same concert, so which is why I have both of them. And uh, yeah, uh, the one difference I have with them is the spines. The spines is different. Um, I don't know whether that is faded or just meant to be that colour. I don't think it is faded, I don't know. But yeah, weirdly. But uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, that's why I kind of regretted getting... Because they do sound... Even though they're two different uh, concerts of the same concert at two different locations, I kind of regret getting both versions. I thought they'd sound a little bit different because... Um, one was, ha was... I think this one ha had slightly longer tracks on it. So I thought maybe they were doing slightly extended versions and they didn't. But no, uh, the reason one of them is slightly longer th than the other is because that one included more of the talking, whereas the other one was just the 
basically less talking in between the acts and that or the songs I should say so that was why so yeah but uh, yeah I think together they were like 50 quid for both of them because they are rare although seeing that one of the expensive things between the two of these was the postage the postage was fairly expensive as well on them but they did come pretty well packaged but yeah those are rare out of print cds though if you do have soul sea care you'll be able to download them you're welcome <laughs> This might this is a box, I think it may have an address on it. No, no address. No address on that, so yeah, I'm not I'm assuming she might have just put something else in a bigger box. So I'm not so hundred percent sure what this is. I can hear it rattling around. Okay, <laughs> okay, I know what this is now. I can't remember getting this. And my sister, annoyingly, uh, she won't she won. Unfortunately, she only decided that like a few days before Christmas Day. Though she cooks, like, oh no, it's not what I thought. And she's gotten a one that is pretty bad. Okay, uh, initially I just saw that and I thought it was something else, but no, okay. It's a stretch Sonic. I've seen this a bunch of times. But this one has, oh no, it's alright, it's just fused to the plastic actually. I thought it had some blemishes there, but actually it's alright. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't think, I don't know if I'll open this or not. But yeah, it's a stretch Sonic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do like, I, She's she's probably gotten this from... Probably uh, either B and M or somewhere, or maybe if she went to Smith's for my sister and that. But like this thing's basically been everywhere. So yeah. That's why the battery charger wasn't working. I just realised uh, it wasn't fully plugged in properly. That's why. I should get the presents out the bag before I start using it as a rubbish bag. Is there a bag inside this bag or something? I think there is. Yes, there is. There's a bag inside the bag. Alright, now that one can exclusively for our rubbish. Right. I was also concerned about my mum putting the presents in the garage. Uh, keeping them in there. I told her, do not. I told her, you're not putting the CDs or anything in there. Because I don't want them to get disc rot. Anyway. That's present there, so yeah. Because my mum, if it's not hers, she doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> really, in terms of keeping it in good nick. I'm glad though this year I should put all my presents uh, in boxes, which is what I like, uh, so then they don't get damaged. Although this one, I'm going to be careful with this one, because this one feels like it is pretty stuffed in there. This I don't remember getting or asking, I don't know, I think, I don't know if she told me about this or not. I can't remember, but I think she said she got me something Wallace and Gromit. So it's a Wallace and Gromit mug. Uh, yeah, uh, not as nice as uh, me Gromit one. Me Gromit one ones, I should say. I've got, I've got uh, four of them. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. Oh, there's a book in here. So there's the mug itself. Uh, 
And uh, I think... I don't know if it's reusing the illustrations or whether these are new illustrations from the um, comic version of the wrong trousers, I don't know. Oh, the wrong trousers, the graphic novel, okay. Is this just a smaller version of it? Because, oh wow. Yeah. It's, I don't know if this is, this might be new artwork done for It's pretty small. It's pretty small, but it's really nice. I really like this. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, I'm not too fussed on the mug, uh, to be honest with you, uh, mainly because I don't drink tea or coffee or any hot drinks. So, yeah, not too fussed on the mug, but the book's quite nice. I do quite like the book. So, yeah, I'll uh, keep that uh, in its box there and uh, find um, somewhere for it later. Flatten this box up a bit, there we go. Right, um, I'm gonna have to get up to grab the next gift. Ooh, this is a bigger one. This is in a shoe box. Uh, I may keep uh, the shoe box depending on whether I can fit four Dalek sets in. Because <coughs> um, I bought more Dalek sets uh, for my friend and um, haven't, set, haven't had a chance to send them off yet because uh, I didn't have a box big enough currently. I don't know if this one is, this one might be too small though. We will see. Ah, oh no! Mum! Urgh, this was sitting out on her desk for ages and it's got dinged at the corner, Mum. But yeah, I picked this up um, from Smith's. This was uh, 25 quid from Smith's. I mainly got it because I wanted a, an office set and that's what got me into the Funko Snaps thing, which I've never bought all of them, I just got a handful. There we go. Okay, the camera is running out of battery, it says. Right. Let me... There we go. <coughs> there we go. I've uh, plugged uh, power into it. There we go. So hopefully it'll still keep recording. So, yeah. Yeah, that was the only thing that was in there. Let's see. Nah. No, it won't. Okay. Shut that one on the back for now. I'm going to grab the next parcel. Ooh, 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 don't want to twist my foot there. Another Poundland Christmas box. No cell tape this time, thank you. Ah, now this is the thing. And I wish you hadn't stuck things in there. Thankfully this one hasn't been crushed. This is the thing I thought the Sonic thing was that my sister wants. So yeah, this is a Teal's um, stress toy. Yeah, uh, this is a tenner by the way. But uh, yeah, um, the only places I've seen it at currently is uh, B&M. But uh, yeah, there's various ones, so thankfully she didn't crush that one, but yeah. Axel, I do not stuff things in there. If it doesn't fit in there, it doesn't fit. Come on. Come to Ryan. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, we'll go for the big one first, son.
This one maybe a bit. If you put this in a box that my brother got, because uh, it's got his address, at, his name and that on it. Yeah, I can feel that the camera's struggling at, at the make, it's dimmed the display, it might be trying to overheat. I don't think a Sony's every one is designed. Uh, the only thing with the Sony, the, the Sony, the Sony's every one is, uh, it is not designed to be running for this long at once. Hey. What is this? This. This is a new dressing gown. Yeah, it's a new dressing gown for me. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, not really much to see. I will have that washed though before I wear it. I'm gonna just see. Oh, it might be big enough. Let me see. One, two, three. Mm. Let's try putting them that way. Oh, we've got three in so far. Can we get four? We might be able to get four in. I'll keep that box because even though one is sticking out at the minute, there may be a way to manoeuvre things around to get full in. <clears throat> so that's a maybe. <laughs> right, this one's a good deal. A good deal heavier. I want one of them towel dressing gowns though. Um, okay, this has an address on it. A lot of sellotape and all. Me knife. The fuck is this thing? Oh my god. It's one of those things I'll probably use maybe once and then never use again. It's a candy flush machine. Yeah, and she got me a pink one as well. Um, yeah, and fresh delicious, never heard of them. So yeah, a no name brand candy flush machine, you know, wonky sort of box. Yeah, one of those things that is expensive. This will be, well, I say expensive, not. A look, at, look at the color she could have got me it in. I w uh, although it doesn't see. Although I'm assuming it's the pink one. Let's actually, I'm actually curious what colour it is. Now I'm going to open it. Oh no, it's the red one. Okay. I was going to say, why did she get... Yeah, she got me the red one. Oh, it has a horrible smell. Oh God. Like that screams cheapy Chinese electronics. Oh god, uh, look look at it though, it's stuffed in there like that. That'll be a cheap one she's got online. Oh, never buy cheap crappy electronics. Put that on another brown box. And I have an address on it. <coughs> right. Also, while I'm doing this, while I'm opening this, I should mention that uh, Sony cassette deck 
something I discovered very quickly about it and unfortunately a lot of decks I've uh, had and seen before have this. Although it has Dolby noise reduction, you can't use it for recording. Because there's a one exactly, the, almost exactly the same like this that is slightly up in the range but it does allow you to record Dolby noise reduction onto cassettes. Thankfully though, I do have another cassette deck uh, that does allow that. It's Kenwood One works, yeah. Ah, okay. I don't know why she needed to put this in back. This is my new cardigan. Which uh, is exactly the same as the one I got, I think, last year or something. Except this time it's in Burgundy. There we go. Been looking forward to getting that. I do love a cardigan. Yeah, I don't wear jumpers and that in the winter. I wear cardigans. Right. Now the question is, how the hell am I going to get to the rest of this stuff, the rest of the present? I've just got bags upon, pardon me, bags upon bags of just rubbish. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it! I was wrong! No, I was right. I can, yeah, I can just about make it. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I can make it. Yeah, this one clearly hasn't been put in a box, in fact, I can see stuff to it. It has been, but it's just... Put... Oh my god, she got me it! <laughs> I can't believe she remembered, but here it is! <laughs> the Gromit co Cookie Jar! <laughs> Wasn't expecting this. Uh, yeah, I'd actually forgotten about this. I asked for it for Christmas, but that was like months and months ago. <laughs> I've forgotten about it myself, but yeah, hopefully it's all right. There's not a lot of packing in there. That is not a lot of packing. The lid is packaged separately. But uh, yeah, there's no t it's just the cardboard holding it in there. Let's get them out. Just checking to see if there's any chips or anything in there that looks all right. Let's get the lid. I'm gonna be careful with this cardboard. I'm just gonna slide it out because the lid there just has a bit of a rubber seal. And that on it uh, goes that way around. I'll be curious to know if anyone actually does use these as actual cookie jars, because I have never used. We have never used a cookie jar as a cookie jar ever. Um, at the most, my mum would put tea bags or something in it, but never cookies because who gets a packet of cookies and takes them out of there and then puts them in the jar? Who does that? There he is. And he's really nice. He has a bit of a rough sort of pink job there. But uh, yeah. I will want at some point want to get the Wallace um, th thing, but yeah, when I went to Blackpool on that, um, when I went to the Pleasure Beach, I nearly got one of these, but I decided not to, and I'm glad I decided not to, because one, uh, we had limited space in the car as is, so yeah, and two, I would have to carry that from the Pleasure Beach back to the hotel, Anyway, so yeah, wouldn't want to particularly do that because it is a rather large heavy thing. And yeah, make, making sure he survives the journey and everything, so that's why I didn't. And also I found out it would have been cheaper to order him online anyway. So yeah, I'm wondering if my brother got one of these. I know he wanted one and he nearly got one when we saw that. Basically he was actually cheaper to get online than he was in the Walls and Grobbit shop in Blackpool. But yeah, I'm going to put him back in the box there for now. But, uh, I'm very happy with him. Very, very happy with him. Where can I put him? He can sit there for now. I've got some air bubbles to pop. Ready? Come on. Ooh, what's that? My finger. The guns are going off, people. Or not. 
There we go. Hold them. There we go. Shove them in a bin bag. Right. I think we're nearly at the end. This is either the second to last or third to last. So much light I want. Okay, cut, cutting that piece of tape did bugger all. That's another piece of tape there to cut. Okay. Again, I don't know why she bothered putting that. I wasn't bothered about clothes being in a box. This is one of the shirts. Got this is a green one. Yeah. Uh, Nice new shirt, I like that one, I remember choosing that one. And things just blew falling up in a heat great. How many more we got? Yeah, I think this is the last, yep. So this is the last and uh, there's clearly some sort of clothes. I believe it's going to be shirts. Oh no, it's not, oh, it's towel! Yeah, is this a towel dressing or is it just towels? Two hand towels, two bath towels. Okay, so it's some towels. This bag is not a toy. Oi. Scar, th think is anything missing? I don't think so. So yeah, there we go. There we go. That is all my Christmas. Again, a bit of st so yeah that is uh, all my Christmas presents uh, 2022 apart from uh, money I got off other relatives and that so yeah um, yeah I've done pretty well I've done pretty well my sweets are kind of all over the place at the minute and uh, oh god they're split I'm going to have to tidy up things and that a bit but because things are currently just kind of boxes and that all over the place so yeah, but um, there we go. So yeah, uh, Merry Christmas uh, to you all. Uh, we enjoyed this uh, video and uh, yeah, there we go people, there we go.